going welcome back to my channel my name is Megan if you are new here and if you're not new here then welcome back in today's video I'm gonna be taking you through a little cleaning routine video a little clean with me uh, just for fun I actually meant to do a spring cleaning video back in the spring but now it's summer and that didn't quite go as planned, but here we are. As always, I will be using natural, non-toxic cleaning products that I will talk a little bit about throughout this video. I really only have a few that I like to use, keeping it pretty simple, but I hope you enjoy today's video and it gives you a little bit of motivation to do some cleaning around your home. And let's get started. So I'm gonna start in the kitchen and I'm just taking out some garbage first. We keep our compost in the freezer, uh, which really helps to keep the smell down and bugs and fruit flies away. So little tip for you there. And I'm also just gonna quickly put away some dishes. I'm just moving everything off the counter so that I can give them a good scrub. The multi-purpose cleaner that I like to use is Sal Suds by Dr. Bronner's. So that's what I am using here and it's a Castile soap blend. I really quite like it. I've been using it for a really long time. And next I'm giving the sink a good deep clean. Uh, a lot of times our sinks get that like brown residue that sticks on it. And so what I'm doing here is I'm just using baking soda and a bit of the Sal Suds cleaner that I mentioned a moment ago and that's it you can actually use any soap that you like here but you just need a little bit of elbow grease and it really helps to remove all that stuck on stuff Now that that's all done, I'm just gonna put everything back on the counters. And I'm also giving our kitchen island a good wipe as well, but most importantly, the island shelves. I swear all the dust in the entire apartment collects on these shelves. It's insane, they just get so, so dusty. But look at all of that dust. There's so much dust, it's crazy. Next, the cupboards were in dire need of a good wipe. I'm just using the all-purpose cleaner spray by 7th generation here with a microfiber cloth. And this cloth is amazing at making things really nice and shiny. Uh, it works really well. And of course, what I like about using these kinds of cloths, I also have some bamboo ones that I was using there a moment ago to clean the counters. Um, what I like about it though is that they're reusable, so you can just toss them in the laundry. I'm also giving our hood vent a good white hood vent. Is that right? Range? Range vent? I'm just taking these plants off, which I actually really like placing up here um, because it acts as a bit of a shelf, just the way that the range is shaped. And I think it adds a nice greenery to our kitchen. But anyway, giving that a good wipe and gonna give the plants some water as well. Okay, next up, this has been on my to-do list for a while now. We have stick-on chair pads on the bottom of the legs so that they slide on the floor easier, but they always slide off and create a sticky mess um, all over the place, like all over the floor. So I'm really sorry to show you a close-up of this, but there's just like stuck on hair on like, and like the glue and the pads came off, it's horrible. But what I have heard is that lemon essential oil works really well at being like a, a goo gone, it helps to remove stickiness. So that is what I am trying out here for the very first time. And I was really impressed. This worked really well actually, really just pulled all the stickiness right off. Like, I mean, it's so hard to get off, but the lemon oil worked really well. It just like dissolved it. So that was amazing. I just used a uh, lemon essential oil that I got from the health food store. And then after a little while, once I kind of gave them a wipe down with a cloth, let them dry, I'm just putting on some fresh new uh, chair pads. And if you guys have any tips for how to make these stay on longer, let me know. They do last a few weeks, but they always seem to fall off eventually and then of course make a sticky mess. 
Alrighty, next the rugs are coming off the floor so that I can do a good sweep and mop. I like to sweep everything first and then I use my little vacuum that I have and then I mop. In my other cleaning video that I have on my channel, a lot of people told me to get an upright vacuum because I just have this little handheld one, which means I have to bend down quite a bit, but I don't know, I may at some point, but I really just use it for getting into the corners, so it works pretty well. It's a great little vacuum. Also, side note, all those marks you can see on my right arm there um that's because i'm getting over shingles but that's a it's a whole other story <laughs> next i'm moving on to some mopping so now that everything has been swept um i am just using my microfiber mop by velita and what you do is you fill up the container with whichever cleaning solution that you want i'm using water and salad suds and it's ready to go you just pop it into the little um the handle part and i love it because it's not a big cumbersome mop and bucket it just sprays out in front and it's really handy um, and it also doesn't take up a lot of space so that's what i like about it and the cloth is machine washable so you can reuse it Okay, so as you can see here, there is still some sticky residue uh, on the floors. This is again from the chair pads that always fall off and then it leaves a sticky mess everywhere. Um, and I find it really hard to get off even when I'm scrubbing the floor with our mop, but here we are again, lemon essential oil saving the day. So I highly recommend lemon essential oil if you have anything really, really sticky. It works really well. Okay, so I've been meaning to flip the right side cushion of our, our couch over forever because it's clearly not lining up properly with the left cushion. You can kind of see there, I'm gonna flip it over. Yeah, I don't know, I guess when we got the couch we didn't put the cushion on properly, so I'm just gonna give this a little flip. That looks a lot better, there we go. And we're gonna do a bit of vacuuming here. Always feels good to give your couch a good vacuum. Next, I'm gonna give some surfaces a wipe. I'm also gonna give this uh, vintage table that I got a few months ago a little polish as well with just a touch of olive oil and I'm just gonna kinda rub it in in circular motions. I accidentally got some water stains on it, unfortunately. Um, I actually think that I might paint this table, but we'll see. This ledge always collects dead bugs, which is super gross. So I just vacuum those suckers up. Something else I highly recommend doing is giving your house plants a wipe, especially ones that have wider leaves. Plants can definitely collect dust and by wiping their leaves, you improve their ability to photosynthesize. So it's really important to do that every once in a while. Uh, I'm just using my bamboo cloth here with a bit of water and just giving them a little wipe down because they do get pretty dusty. Next, I'm gonna move on to the bedroom and I'm just gonna do a quick little vacuum and mop in here as well. And like I mentioned before, when it comes to this uh, mop, you can just remove the cloth and toss it in the laundry to reuse it. So it just comes right off. And finally, uh, I'm gonna give our bed sheets and our linen duvet cover a wash. So I'm just pulling those off the bed and I'm gonna toss those into the washing machine. And while those are washing, I'm gonna head on over to the bathroom and get started in there. My sink needed a good clean. And so I'm just using the same baking soda and sal suds blend here. Again, you could use like any other soap that you want with baking soda would work really well. Um, and just giving this a really good scrub. You know that your sinks need a good clean when there's like that pinky, orangey like residue around um, the sink drain and then giving my faucet a nice clean and the counters and the glass as well my mirror needed a good scrub And on to the bathtub. As you can see here, my bathtub definitely needed a good clean. This is my Valida um, sponge that is attached to a uh, handle and I love it. It's so amazing. You should try to get your hands on one. It works really well. It makes it so much easier to get into your bathtub and give it a good scrub and the walls so you don't have to get on your hands and knees.
But check out how much hair is on my bathroom floor here. I just, I shed a lot, not gonna lie. There's just hair everywhere all the time. And lastly, I wanted to switch out our mat at the very front entrance. We had this black one from the winter time, but I have this nicer one here just to give the entryway a bit more pattern. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Just gonna make the bed, nice clean sheets. I absolutely love going to bed with clean sheets. I hope you enjoyed today's video and it gave you a little bit of motivation for cleaning your home and maybe you learned a few tips and tricks. I will leave as many links below as I can to different products that I use if you want to give them a try and I will see you in the next one.